Alright, today's video will be a little bit different than the Flipper Zero content I've been putting out. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, essentially content collection management tools such as radar, sonar, lidar. Also talk about uh, NZB indexers and torrent trackers. Uh, going to discuss download clients and then also go over um, aggregators for NZB indexers and torrent trackers. All right, this particular video is an overview of content management tools, so I will not be uh, setting anything up during this video. This will just be an overview, so let's get into it. All right, so I created this PowerPoint slide for us to just walk through so you can understand how these tools are set up. So starting off here, I have content collection management tools for searching NZB indexers and torrent trackers. All right, so as we look through here, first one's radar. This one deals with movies. You got sonar for TV shows, LIDAR for music, radar for eBooks and audiobooks, Bazaar for subtitles for movies and TV shows, Mylar for comic books, uh, Comar, that's a branch actually off of Mylar 3. You got Sick Rage for movies, Sick Chill for movies, Couch Potatoes for movies, and Medusa for movies. Now these are ways to essentially search for content within NZB indexers and torrent trackers. Let's go to the next slide here. So this will actually be sources of NZB indexers and torrent trackers. So starting off with NZB, you must have a Usenet provider. I've listed a few here, starting with new hosting, uh, EA, NZB Geek, Sue, and Ninja Central. Now that's just to name a few, and this is not an all-inclusive list. So as you can see here, Here's a list of the indexers for NZB. You'll have to have that. And then for torrent trackers, here's a list of the torrent trackers. All right, looking at download clients. So when you're talking about download clients, there's two different types. There's one for torrents, which is transmission, and then qubit torrent. There's several others. Uh, for NZB, you got SAB, NZB, D, or NZB Git. All right, so let's get into what a typical setup would look like with just using radar for movies. So let's say the user searches for Fight Club 1999 within Radar's UI. So the radar content tool will be, will be sending the search through all NZB indexers or torrent trackers that have been configured within the radar content tool for the movie Fight Club. So as you can see here, as an example, I have all these indexers and torrent trackers configured to radar. On the next step, the user will select whatever particular movie they want to select from the radar's UI after it performed its search. So the radar UI tool receives the user selection. It essentially asks, is the file selected a torrent or NZB? This transmission or SA uh, SAB NZBD is configured to the radar tool. And that's what will be used to perform the actual download. Essentially, it's the download client. So from, so from there, it downloads the movie and adds it to your specified library slash hard drive location that you have configured in these tools. As a note, with a tool like Radar, you can automate Radar to download a particular types of movies. An example here is, let's say, setting up a automated task to pull all movies from 1999 that are rated 70% or higher in Rotten Tomatoes. All right, this next slide's, uh, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper here. So this next slide is essentially a way to aggregate 
the NZB indexers and torrent trackers. That way, if you have several of these content management tools, you don't have to modify the NZB indexers or torrent trackers with it within each one. You can have an aggregator such as Prowler or Jacket to manage all those indexers and torrent trackers in one spot. So let's see what that setup would look like. All right, so from here, a user will search for any content out of any of the content management tools that we've went over. From there, the search is sent to Prowler, and within Prowler, this is where all the indexers or torrent trackers can be found. So Prowler will search through all those indexers and torrent trackers that have been configured to Prowler. From there, the user will select whatever particular piece of content they want out of whatever management, content management tool that you used. Prowler receives the user selection, decides if the file is an NZB or a torrent, it picks the correct download client, depending on what you selected, and the download client downloads the content and adds it to your specific library or hard drive. So once again, why use an aggregator? It essentially provides a centralized location to maintain all the NZB indexers and torrent trackers for all your content management tools. Like I said, this is a brief overview. I don't have any content over setting up any of this. I don't know if I plan to, probably depends on how much interaction I get with this video, but I just wanted to give you all a rundown of what a, a setup looks like. Thank you.